Hey everyone, I'm Allison Cope and welcome to the Cheapytronics YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making a fun Halloween card using our craft effects and our copper tape and our LED light stickers. Let's go! So I've pre-cut everything. I've even designed our little vampire dude here. He's adorable. And what we're going to do is we're going to make his eyes light up today. So I started by creating this first layer. This is a piece of pattern paper over a piece of cardstock. And I inlaid this sentiment so it's all one thickness. Okay. I've also die cut a piece of pattern paper and backed it with black cardstock. And I also have another piece of black cardstock as my backer piece. We're going to start by positioning him on our little piece here. We need to know where his eyeballs go. So we're actually going to bring in the die. And I have die cut his face using this die and I've just temporarily kind of tacked it in there because we want to use the eye openings so we're going to place him on our card little piece like so so I know that I need holes in my cardstock right here So there we go. I just used a pencil and traced them, and then I'm going to use my X-Acto knife, and I'm going to cut them out. Now that we've cut those out, we need to position this on our card here. However, we're going to put it on the front. Now, on my card, I want my couple of layers to be cattywampus. So we are going to do that. And again, I'm going to use this as my template. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to just trace it. And then I'm going to cut this layer out. And since this layer of cardstock, the white, is only one layer, my lights will have only to shine through just a single layer of cardstock instead of multiple. And that's why we're cutting all these layers. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to take our little uh, layer here and we're going to glue him down to his little sky. And I'm just going to use the fine point of my glue, making sure that I get all of those little itty bitty pieces around the edges so that they're tacked down. Again, there's only one layer where his eyeballs are. And that's just going to help transfer uh, light easier because it only has to go through a single layer of paper. All right. And then we just have to position him. Now you can also use your light and I'm just gonna tilt because I can kind of see I can kind of see through his eyeballs there and that'll help position now of course I've got glue all over where <laughs> but that's okay it'll dry clear so now our little fella is going to be stuck down the next thing before I go any farther is I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to map out his eyes because those are where I will need my lights to be so I need to know because this will be where we design our circuit the other thing I need to know is where this boo symbol sits so I'm going to line up his eyeballs see I lined them up using the back there and I'm just going to kind of eyeball it underneath. I'm just using my pencil here. There we go. And that's basically where I need to put my battery because you're going to press the word boo to activate the circuit. All right. Next thing we need to do is 
create our circuit. First thing we need to do is make a little house for our battery and I'm just taking some lightweight cardstock here and we're just going to fold it over and we are going to make a little battery house right here. I'm going to use a little bit of tape runner just to glue our little folded piece down right in the spot where we had kind of mocked up. Okay. All right, so our battery is three-dimensional, so sometimes I put it in there and then wrap it around a little bit just to get a little bit of that three-dimension on that bend because it is, at least my three-volt batteries are a little bit on the thick side. There we go. Okay. Now that we've got our literal battery housing made, we need to make our craft effects circuit work. And for this one, we're gonna use the heartbeat. And it's a sticker as well. And it too is also marked with positive, negative, and this one will become the other positive of the other side. And it needs to come the Copper tape needs to be put on the inside of the housing, wrap around all the way, come into the positive side of our heartbeat sticker, and the positive needs to come out the top and to the positive side of all of our stickers. And today we're going to be using yellow stickers. There's a variety of different colors, you can try them all. Our negative line is going to come out this side of the heartbeat sticker and it needs to touch the pointed part of our little LED light stickers and that's how we're going to work that and I need to make the negative also come out the bottom and I think we're going to do a shortcut here actually we'll come out this side We'll create a bridge across and we'll go and meet this corner. And I'll show you how we make a bridge really, really easy. Okay, so let's start with our copper tape. Let's start by doing our positive side. I always seem to start with the positive side because it's the one that's the longest coming out of the housing. So battery is gonna go positive side facing up so therefore, it's going to touch the top of the housing. So copper tape needs to go on the top of the housing. It needs to wrap around. It needs to come all the way down the face. Now, this is where you have to be very, very gentle. And you have to realize that this is a 3D portion right here. So you need to wrap your tape Give lots of tape in that section. There we go. So now it's stuck all the way from the top, from the inside, across the lid and back. Now to do corners, all you do is you fold the tape back on itself. And oops. This stuff is pretty forgiving. There we go. And I'm just using my bone folder basically to make a nice crisp tape here. Again, we're gonna do a corner, so we'll fold it back on itself. I need to trim this off just to make it easier for myself to get this going. And then we're gonna to go to the corner of where that light sticker is going to be. The stencil that comes with your light stickers is a godsend. So use it because it allows you the proper spacing and where to put all of your tape and how to get it in close enough so that you don't have to worry about being too short or not long enough. All right, so let's go to the top of where the sticker is going to go. <laughs> Again, you just kind of have to play with things. All right, so there's the top of our sticker. Oop. <laughs> we're 
we're going to come across and we need to go up. There we go. Your fingers work really well to do the pressing as well. Your fingernails too. And then we're going to go across all the bottoms of where the sticker, the light stickers are going to go. And I need to make it long enough so that it travels all the way underneath those stickers. And then you can call that line done. So that is all of our positive pathways. Let's do our negative pathways. So before we go to put our tape down, we need to can simply do that by using a scrap of paper because it's non-conductive and all you have to do is tape it down. It's as simple as that. So basically you're just creating a bridge for your tape to go across so that it doesn't touch another line. So it's not going to touch that positive one. So just creating a really, really simple tape bridge. Super easy. All right, let's get this copper tape going for the negative. We need to have some tape on the inside so that it makes contact with the bottom or the negative side of the battery. We're going to come out and across that bridge. We need to come up to the bottom of our effects sticker. And of course you play until you get it. There we go. Make sure that's nice and pressed down. And then we're going to go back on ourselves. I just want to make sure that we're not in going anywhere close. So I'm going to go right back outside. This can be one continuous piece. <coughs> and we're going to go back up because we need to go and meet the negative points of those LED lights. Sorry, this is probably getting in the way here. <laughs> but the more continuous your piece without breaks, the better off your circuit connection is going to be. So I don't mind using full width. You can actually cut this tape into thinner or in half into strips that are much thinner, but for purposes today, I'm working with the full thickness. And there we go. There is the line. And you can tear this stuff, it's so beautiful. And there we go. We have all of our lines, so our positive to here, positive to there, and then our negative is the other line. So let's actually put some stickers on here and get this puppy to work. So we're gonna take our heartbeat sticker first. And we're gonna apply it in a spot that we designed specifically for it, right there. We're gonna use some yellow LED light stickers today. They're indicated on the sticker by a Y, so they're very easily uh, found and now we want to make sure this is where our one eyeball is so you want to make sure that positive is positive and negative is negative and I'm gonna bring in another yellow sticker for his other eyeball there we go all right and let's give this a whirl put in our battery and I'll turn out my lights for you and, and you can see this work. There we go, and it's got a heartbeat. It's gonna be so cute for his eyeballs. All right, let's finish up the backing and put it all together. The next thing we need to do is we need to build up this piece here. Because our battery has quite a bit of thickness, we're going to use some double-sided foam tape here and I'm actually going to increase the thickness by doubling it up. So I'm just, basically I'm sticking it to itself and then it just becomes a double thickness. 
There we go. And I always kind of start around the battery because I want to you I want to uh, in, kind of encase it. So the first thing I need to do is I need to create kind of a, like a little housing for our battery here. Now this is a little bit too wide. The beauty of this foam tape is it's super easy to cut down so you can make it any size or shape that you need. So I'm going to start by adding some here. And I always use these scraps later, so save them. Now, this is non-conductive, so you can use it over top of the tape. It's not going to affect your circuit in any way, shape, or form. Okay. I'm going to speed this part up, and we'll see the finished piece. So I have covered pretty much everything on the back of my card here. I do make one little special piece of foam tape and that goes right here. What I do is I first take a piece of foam tape, a single layer, and I back it with some cardstock. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make kind of like a piece that sits right here and it holds the battery in, so it's not gonna slip out this way, but the thickness allows me to put like a stopper piece in. I put a piece of paper in the card for my recipient to pull out so that when it's in the mail, it doesn't activate that battery. So I'm going to make my custom piece of covered foam tape and I'm just gonna cut a thickness here that looks good now we just need to do a, a length just gonna drop it in there to get a basic size and then I just peel the backer off just like I'm going to apply it to the surface there we go and I'm just going to drop it right into that area. And again, that'll keep my battery in, but it'll allow me to put a piece of cardstock in there just to block the circuit so it doesn't activate in the mail. All right, uh, let's put everything on the top and get this puppy finished. So I've got our card panel all put together. I have a card base with some fun, cool autumn kind of colored plaid. We're going to add some adhesive to the back of this panel. There we go. I like lots of adhesive. And then we're going to put him all cattywampus on the front. There we go. And then we're going to take a piece of white paper and I'm going to cut off a strip here like such. And this is going to go down the side into that little hole that we made to go across the battery and sometimes you have to fiddle with it a little bit. See if I can get it to go in there, and for some reason it's not. It might be because it's a little bit too tight, so we can fix that by just making a little bit thinner strip. Like such. And again, we will put it in the slot for mailing purposes. There we go. And it then becomes a barrier. And what we can do is we can literally trim it off with the, the kind of the edge of the card here, like so. And I'll just put the word pull on this, pull out or pull off. And that becomes our card. So let's again turn off the lights and here's our card. And there we go. And we have blinky flashy lights. Awesome. 
So that's our fun Halloween card today. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. All of the items used today are listed and linked below in the post. Have a great day, guys.